What's going on guys? Back with this week's Jeff County Fishing Report. This week we're talking about Douglas Lake, man. It's it's June on Douglas Lake. Uh, one of my favorite times to get out there. You know, you put in the time behind your graphs, idle around, look for schools of fish. Still some fish biting up shallow, but man, they're really getting out deep good this time of year. I'm gonna go over four baits that I think you could use this weekend to have a lot of success on Douglas. There's also gonna be a new part of this. I've partnered up with Fish Tips. Uh, over on Fish Tips, there's gonna be a uh, if you if you want to go that route, there's gonna be a few areas that you can you can go purchase this tip and really see the areas where you can go do what I'm talking about in this video. So first things first, uh, really a bait that I like throwing a lot in the summer is a hair jig. That is a seven eighths ounce uh, true bass shuttlecock. Uh, the key to that is throwing it on a long rod so you can make a long cast and then 12 pound line, uh, 12 pound Seaguar and Vizex. Uh, you want a fast gear ratio reel. It's a 7.4 to one and you know, make a really long cast over this schools of fish, burn it, and then I like to disengage my reel and let that thing really fall quick. That's why I'm throwing the seven eights. These fish are super pressured out on Douglas and I think whatever you can do to make them react is really the key. On that same line of thought, uh, this is a six inch mini mag, Ben Parker spoon. Um, I believe it's a six inch, either a six or a seven, but it is the mini mag. Uh, I'm throwing that on a seven six heavy rod, 20 pound Seaguar and Vizex. And there's a couple different ways to fish that. Uh, you know, you can you can do your traditional rip it as hard as you can. A lot of times I like to burn it and then open my reel and let that thing kind of backslide. Uh, once again, just something to get those fish to react. You can catch some of your biggest ones of the year on that on that spoon. Um, on the same line of thought, we'll go up here to a, t a 10XD, you know, and it's, you're not getting very many bites on this thing at all, but I still think for whatever reason, the biggest ones seem to bite the 10XD. Um, and, and once again, I'm throwing that on 10 pound Seaguar and the reason for that, I'm trying to get it a little bit deeper. Some of those schools of fish are down in 27, 28 foot. Um, and, and once again, I'm burning that thing pretty good trying to get those fish to react. Uh, other couple things, if you decide to slow down, uh, a, a old trusty Carolina rig, you know, three quarter ounce weight. This is actually a, um, a Zoom Magnum Finesse Worm in Watermelon Red. I've also been throwing a Baby Brush Hog in Watermelon Red. A uh, four out high boost hook, really stick those fish good. And uh, you know, that's just a way you can slow down. Uh, the hot thing in bass fishing, a jig head minnow. I've been experimenting with a tons of different minnows. I like a Z-Man scented jerk shad. This is actually a different bait I've just been playing with um, on, a, on a quarter ounce to anywhere from an eighth, honestly, from an eighth to a three eighths has been okay. Um, but you really wanna just throw that above individual fish. You know, if you see two or three of them off to the side of the school, I've been being able to pick those fish off with that and slow down. It seems like the ones that are really tight, you wanna make them react. So like I said, that's this week's Jefferson County Fishing Report. Head over to Fish Tips, look at some locations where you can go try out these things and have a great day on the water. Appreciate you guys tuning in.